All right, so Instant Road is a super powerful plugin, and it's a little finicky, but I say that knowing that I, I haven't studied and watched all the tutorials, I know that it's it's well thought out and there's a lot of uh, a lot more powerful features to it that I don't even use. But I do tend to get the results I want rather quickly with just a few operations. So those are the operations I'm going to show you. And that is going to be how to use these placemaker uh, road surfaces and uh, create instant roads using Valley Instant Roads or Instant Architecture as part of the instant roads part of all that. So anyway, what we're going to do is we, we do need to clean up those surfaces a bit uh, because we're going to get some errors if we don't. So I might even just show you those errors and then I'll show you how to fix them. Let's get to it. And you know what? Let's just go about fixing. Uh, you know, I'm forget showing the um, showing the errors. I, I know the error that, that happens. Usually you get a pop up that says like, you know, you, you need to you know, eliminate uh, or, or kind of trim back your faces. They're too close to the perimeter. So we're just going to do that now. And we're going to use um, the artisan tools. So I'll go to uh, top view and maybe even a parallel projection like that. And I just need to trim out. Let me turn on my hidden geometry like that so I can really see the site. And I just need to kind of trim these back. Like when the, the face lands out there, it just, it doesn't work, all right? So I can use this, uh, what is this called? Uh, knife subdivide, all right? So watch this. If I just draw a line across, it's gonna slice through and kind of trim all these, these faces up. And I'll just kind of go right back through here, maybe like, like this, yeah. And I'll just keep it on the green and like that and like that, all right? So what that did is it just kind of trimmed this thing up. See how now I can kind of back it all the way off? And then if I hold, um, let's see, if I make that a group and then I invert my selection, I can then delete this and then we can uh, explode this because I don't want two groups in there. And now I've got, let's see, we've got our, our mesh and we have a group with our surfaces, our road surfaces in there, all right? And then the one other thing I want to fix is I want to give like a nicer curve to this arc here. So if I don't give this a nice clean curve, it, it's gonna, it, it's just gonna be kind of a clunky looking road. And honestly, this I could imagine being in the foreground of my rendering. So um, let's see, maybe I'll do something like this. And then um, I wonder if we can just trim this up. That's gonna work well like that and trim that up. So that gave me kind of a tangent to the edge like that. And then maybe I'll just use my select tool and then do an offset like this and see if we get you know, kind of close to what we're looking for here. And let's see, yeah, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. All right, so there we go. So it's not a ton of extra surfaces, you know, it's just enough to kind of smooth this thing out and, you know, it'll, it'll look good. I mean, this one might be just a little, uh, still a little bit um, low, I don't know, what's the right word for that? Low resolution, just have too many seg, uh, too few segments. That's okay. I think I'm, I'm good with it. It's, it's a clean enough curve and I don't want to make a super high resolution model because the more edges and surfaces you have in this group, when it starts churning this out into three dimensions, it starts to get pretty heavy. All right. So here's our roads. Um, I'm just going to do one more kind of trick to clean this up. If I just double click, that's going to select the surface as well as the bounding edges. And if I hold shift and draw a big selection window around the whole thing, it's gonna invert my selection and check it out. See, it, it, did, it did grab some entities, all right? So I'm just gonna delete those entities because I wanna only have one clean uh, surface with my roads on it. And if there's anything else in there, it kinda tends to not work, all right? So here's a nice clean surface in a group and here's my mesh. Let's, let's try instant road again. I'm just gonna fire it up again Go to our um, go to our library style, and we're going to pick this kind of first one here, and let's just hit Make Road, 
and see what happens. There we go. But now you can see in the bottom left corner, it is working. It's thinking it through. And uh, it's going to take those roads, drop them onto the terrain, kind of draft them out into 3D with a sidewalk and a curb. It's going to be a ton of, save us a ton of time, really. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Condoc Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.